Remember athletes, it's about consistency first, then intensity. Transformation is about changing who we are through our habits. Your path to success, it's a journey. You are unstoppable. You are an athlete. Every day that we wake up able to enjoy the day with the health that we have is a gift. You know the goal is to become 1% better every single day. Your workout is done and your results are there. Unleash that unstoppable force within you. What's up athletes, welcome back. Today we're doing a full body stability ball hit burn workout together and all you're going to need is just a stability ball and then maybe a mat for some extra cushioning. So go grab that ball that you have, dust it off and let's put it in motion today. So we're working for 30 seconds without break going from one movement to the next and because this is a wild card workout, I'm gonna show you your first movement and then you're going to know what's coming up next. Now I will add that today you need to be close by to a wall. We're actually gonna start over here today with the ball. So go ahead, press pause, grab your mat and go somewhere where you're able to lean against the wall comfortably with safety. All right, now let's get started. So go ahead and grab that ball and now we're gonna come into the wall over here and we're gonna place the ball behind us. We're gonna go into a nice squat position. We're gonna push the knees out. We're gonna come all the way down and then press against the wall, leaning backwards, putting more weight on the glutes and the posterior chain and then standing up. So this is also a really great way to take some tension off the knees and on the back if you're also feeling some pain. So feel free to throw that one in anytime you need to modify or gently adapt that movement. All right, athletes, now let's get going. We're gonna start over here and then check the box above to know what's coming next. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, and start. All right, drive those knees out. Exhale as you come up. Remember, we're working for 30 seconds. And now you're gonna see that I'm going nice and slow with control. So just slow it down, get into that body, follow that breath. And now the ball that I'm using today actually has some sand in it. So it's a weighted ball. And the reason for that is really just to add more resistance, but it's not a must in any way. Three, two, one. All right, now here it is. We're gonna go ahead and lift up one leg. You can place it here behind the ankle, come down, or you can put it out here in front of you. And then just really think about focusing all of the weight on that leg. Now to modify, you can place your toes on the floor, just giving that other leg a little bit of help. But really the goal here is to isolate just that leg doing all of the work. All right, just fixing my watch here. Three, two, one. And now go ahead and switch to the other side. So as I was talking to you, my big toe pressed on a button that pulled me out of my screen. And I love when those types of little glitches happen because I want you to know that in these workouts I'm sharing with you, this is the real deal. This is what my workout would normally look like. All right, that's it, I'm feeling it too. You're doing great. Three, two, one and break. All right, now go ahead and get back into that squat position. You're gonna lift up the heels and then Keep the heels up. You're gonna notice you're feeling a lot more work in the inner medial quads, so vastus medialis oblique muscle, which is responsible for stabilizing the knees. This is a really great movement to just really target and focus on that muscle. Three, two, one, and break. All right, grab the ball, and now come on to a plank position for more stability you can go out. And now we're gonna just go back and forth. So feet can go out to have more stability, but really focus on driving that breath. <sighs> Doing good. 10 more seconds here. Stay with me. And then five seconds, we're going to go ahead and counterclockwise. So, Go into that counterclockwise motion. Stay nice and tight in your plank. You got this. That's it. You can do it. 15 seconds. Get ready then to stand. We're gonna do an overhead squat 
holding our ball. Five seconds, three, two, one, and break. All right, we're halfway. Go ahead, hold out the ball, come down into your squat, lock out the elbows. And again, I have some weight here in my ball, but don't worry, what we're really driving for is an added challenge to mobility. Good work. That's it. And then in just a moment, we're gonna come back into our plank position and go clockwise. All right, plank. And now let's go clockwise. Remember you have that option to go a little bit wider with the feet. If you wanted just a little bit more stability, that when the feet are closer together, it's more of a challenge to the balance or go a little bit wider and then feel that stability. Five seconds and we're gonna go for an overhead alternating lunge. Three, two, one, and break. All right, again, grab that ball and now alternate that lunge. Really thinking about the breath. Doing good. Then also really engaging the arms. So try and squeeze the ball, keeping the elbows straight, and really getting in more tension in the arms, in the shoulders, in the upper back, in the traps. Three, two, one. All right, let's go. On the floor. Oh man, let's finish this up and we're going for a dead hamster. So you can either do this movement with just the legs or follow me here, alternating opposite arm, opposite leg, keeping the head down if you wish. Five seconds, three, two, one. All right, now let's go ahead and pass the ball back and forth, just getting some more space. And now put it between the hands, lower the legs, come back up all the way down. That's it, you got this. Doing good. Keep that low back flat. Can continue to drive the breath here. And then we're in just a few seconds, we're gonna keep the ball between the feet. So I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna keep the ball here. And then I'm gonna do a pendulum. So arms out to the side. Keep the shoulders down without lifting up the shoulders. We're gonna go back and forth with the ball, feeling those legs, and feeling the core. All right, we're almost done. Come on, you could do it. Five more seconds, I feel you. Three, two, one, and break. Good work, athletes, we made it. How fun was that? I'm out of breath. This was a really great workout. It's a great way also to keep it fun, to continue to change it up, and maybe to get some fresh ideas around what we're going to do with this ball. So repeat it one more time if you have the time today, or remember to check out the other workout I have linked for you at the end of this one to complete the training today. Love to hear from you. Did you like this? Do you wanna see more of it? Let me know, because it helps me to create the content that you love to come back for. All right, athletes, now let's go. Refuel, rehydrate, and let's meet up in the next one. You got this.